and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Aretha, and um, yeah, so I've been doing, this is week two of my weight loss vlogs, and I have a couple things that I wanted to talk about because I think um, last time I talked about the weight loss grant and basically starting a new chapter in my life and my birthday being in March and this entering my 35th year and how I wanted to spend the next year focusing, really focusing on my weight and do like a real like year commitment. And so, yeah, so since then, a lot of things have happened. Uh, I went traveling. <laughs> um, I went, so I didn't really travel for fun. Um, so I'm a board member and as a board member, sometimes I go to conferences or summits or things like that. And, um, and go and participate in these events and a lot of them happen in Ottawa and I live in Alberta <laughs> so I travel to either Ottawa or Toronto quite a bit because um, I'm part of this board and so uh, I did go to this summit this creative leader summit and basically what that was I did read a little bit about it but I didn't know too much about it but when I got there I learned more and basically it was about entrepreneurs and social innovation and social enterprise and like I mean, kind of made sense, but not really. And I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense for entrepreneurs to do it that way because I know, like, for some people it's successful because they partner and work together. But I guess you really have to be on the same page and it would have to work with certain industries that you work in. So I don't know if that would fit for everyone. But I will tell you this, I did meet a lot of good people, especially because I do own my own film production company and I've been making documentaries. And so I've been meeting people who who I've given my contact information for to like maybe possibly do a documentary or, or um, yeah, just learn more about what they do. Um, so, and if you follow my vlogs before, you'll know that... Um, this past month or so, I've been kind of fighting off my allergies and my sinuses and all this stuff. And I've been feeling really, really tired. That's the other thing I mentioned. So I actually went to go see my doctor on Monday and I, um, I did my thyroid test. So hopefully I'll hear back soon. Um, but I also just talked about how I was feeling so sick and how at one point I got so sick that like my throat got really swollen, like really, really swollen, like not inside, like outside, like it swole up so much here that it was so painful. Um, but then whatever it was, I, I think I might've had a fever. I don't know. I didn't have a thermometer, so I couldn't really tell. But once I fought it off, it was okay. But since then, um, my right here still been a little swollen. And um, it's been going on for a little bit now since like on and off since like January. So I, f I told them about that too and they looked and my glands are still swollen. <clears throat> and I know when I saw the doctor, like sometimes you get like little bumps here or there and your glands are still swollen. Like I'm not really sick, but it's still a sign that your body has fought off something. Like you had some sort of infection, sort of something and your body has fought off something. So sometimes it just takes your glands some time to like, you know, relax. So I went there, they, they're gonna keep an eye on it and they want me to come back, but they also did my thyroid medications or my thyroid test. So hopefully um, that will help me because I have noticed because I've been feeling so tired and drained and <clears throat> even if I'm getting nine hours of sleep, I still feel really tired. I hit this three o'clock wall and I'm so tired. Um, and because I went on this trip, it was like, I left on a, um, Thursday, I left in the morning. Um, in that evening, there was like a, a, a meet and greet and then we went to sleep and it's a two hour time difference, right? So we went to sleep. Then we had to wake up really early in the morning to be there by eight so that we could have breakfast. And then it was like all day of speakers and panelists and then ended about 4 30. And at this time I was so tired and drained and I just needed a nap. Actually at lunchtime, there was another speaker while we had lunch and I literally bailed, went back up to my hotel room and like had to lay down for like half an hour. Cause I was like, oh my goodness. As people were talking, I was like, my eyes like, <laughs> I need, I felt like I need like little toothpicks to prop them up. I was so tired. 
and I wasn't listening to anything people were saying. So I was like really trying to concentrate and I was like, oh goodness, like I'm, I'm dying here. I'm really struggling. And, um, yeah, so by the time it was done, I then was like, we went out for dinner. I was really tired. All I wanted to do was sleep. But because I made this commitment to work out, <laughs> I was like, okay, even if I go upstairs and ride a bike for like half an hour, I'm going to go do that. Because I didn't really walk around either. And it was late at night at this point, And I was like, you know, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to work out. So I'm really proud of myself because um, for me, I'm, I do have an anxiety disorder. Like I do, uh, you know, being in new places and going places on my own. I really do have an anxiety disorder and um, that's kind of what prevents me from going to work out at new places by myself because I just, I feel so uncomfortable and um, I'd rather work out with friends or somebody I know, like even if they're with me and we don't even work out together but we're just there together, I feel so much better. When I'm working out by myself the whole time, I'm uncomfortable, I'm, I have to put on my phone. I did start doing this thing where, where I work out there's uh, open Wi-Fi and so um, I've actually started watching YouTube videos on my phone and I found that has helped distract me a little bit because then I'm not focusing on like that I'm there by myself or people are staring at me or whatever because I'm probably not it's just in my head but yeah so I was really proud of myself um there were other people there too and I just I still just decided to put my headphones in put on a podcast and I just started working out and I was really proud proud that I did that so um so when I came back on Monday uh again I I so I was there all day Saturday, I mean Friday, and then next day I had to wake up early in the morning because then I had to catch a plane again to come back. So jumping time differences so fast was really exhausting to me. I was already still, you know, I'm still fighting off this allergy, sinus, cold thing. And um, my plane, <laughs> uh, we're about to take off, and the plane, I kid you not, like... I remember, like, I was so tired at that point, right? I'm, like, so tired. My head's against the window, because I always get a window seat. My head's against the window, and I remember thinking, this plane doesn't sound right. Oh, well. It's probably just me. So, as we're taxiing out to take off, uh, we're there for a little bit, and then someone comes on the intercom and says, hey, um, we're having an issue with this plane, so we're going to go back and go back and we're going to have some people come on and they're going to see if they can fix it and see what we'll go from there. Finds out, no, <laughs> the plane cannot be fixed. So they unboard us from that plane. A new plane is coming in and we're going to take that plane. So we not only had to wait for all those people to get off their plane, but then once they did, then we could finally board and we got on this plane. Um, it's the same type of plane, so we were just same places, everything was still good. And then we had to put gas in this plane because it just arrived. And then we had to wait for our luggage <laughs> to get put on. And so, yeah. And then it was like, yeah, about two hours later, we finally took off. I am so tired at this point. I kid you not. I'm like not feeling well. I got a headache. I'm like wanting to sleep so bad. And I'm just like, I just want to go home. I just want to go home like so bad. And as we're arriving, oh my goodness, I didn't even know we were close to the ground. That's how bad the weather was. We apparently had heard that we were going to have this wicked storm here. And uh, it kind of blew over past us, but we still got a storm. <laughs> and so, yeah, like it wasn't until like we were close to landing that we could actually see the ground. It was that bad. And... Yeah, it was just horrible. So when I saw the doctor, I was already pretty tired. I didn't do anything on Sunday. Monday I went to the doctor and then I was gonna go work out. Then I realized that, you know what? My glands are still swollen. I'm still not feeling well. I'm still feeling really tired. I'm going to listen to my body and take a rest. And today, um, the only thing I had planned to do today was actually record this video and edit it and put it up for tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, 
but again I woke up this morning and I just felt really tired and exhausted still so and I've been like resting for three days now so um, I'm like I gotta start feeling better right <laughs> like right <laughs> um, but I do feel a little bit better my headache part is gone so that's the good part um, they did um, my doctor does want to send me for a sleep apnea test because they were talking about like how I'm, I'm sleeping and they asked me if I snored and I said yes I people have told me I snore I don't know that I snore but people have told me that I snore and the worst time that I snore is when my allergies act up so if I'm like have a cold or my allergies act up I snore really really loud and I don't hear it I've never heard it so but people around me have told me and it's like I don't snore really loud all the time like sometimes it's very faintly but um, sometimes it's really loud so my doctor wants to send me for a sleep apnea test which might explain why I'm so tired and might explain the weight gain too because um, even though I haven't been as active in January as I have been you know in December and all that um, I have gotten more active in February and just running around and having to do all these things but I still um, have been gaining a little bit of weight so yeah I'm not too sure so yeah oh and I heard back from the grant people um, I do have a file number now and the way the grant works because I tell you a little bit more the way the grant works is um, they don't give you money up front you um, they give you a, a date and time that you do a, a vital check-in and weigh-in. So basically, um, you, that's when your program starts. And at that program, you go out and you buy or pay into whatever program or whatever you want to go into. You then collect all your receipts. They pay back 80% of that up to $2,500. And then, um, but they only pay you that money when you... Um, they do interview with you and they ask you how much weight do you want to lose and when do you want to lose it by so I told them I would like to lose a hundred pounds and I'm gonna lose that weight in 18 months so in that I'm making a commitment that I'm gonna lose a hundred pounds in 18 months and uh, my ill start on the day of my weigh-in and then I can enter any program that I want that's gonna do it and if I reach that weight goal they are going to pay me 80% back of all the money I've spent. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's definitely a little scary because I just feel like it's definitely a commitment and it's a money commitment. It's like someone like saying, okay, I will pay you if you reach your goal. And I don't know. I kind of like it because it makes you really accountable because sometimes when I want to like eat things that aren't good for me and you know I'm rushing around and doing all these other things I'm like oh well I'll pick it up tomorrow oh well you know and like it's not a race you know but like now I actually have a deadline <laughs> so so yeah so I'm definitely already accepted in the program I have a file number that's all I have to do I have to submit all this information and get going um Apparently they have a pretty big intake and not a lot of people can, um, there's not a space for me in the next couple of weeks to do it. So, uh, and also they asked me when I wanted to start and I said, can I start like end of March? Because I really wanted to research which program I want to take. And I know I was researching online and the top three, I guess, weight loss groups are like the Mayo Clinic uh, Jenny Craig and then like Weight Watchers and like I'm not 100% sure if I want to do those at all but I definitely still want to do the naturopath and look at healing my gut and doing things more natural and then of course uh, like working out and maybe getting like a pass to do yoga because I want to start doing more gentle things just to relax and stuff and the working out and the swimming is good but I don't know if they have any yoga classes and maybe that should be something you should look into. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. 
and that's my update this week. I try to make these not that long. Uh, obviously that, does, that doesn't work out too well. Um, but yeah, and um, I am traveling again this week, but for different reasons. But I'll definitely update you in that blog next week. Um, maybe I will do a special blog of a different kind because on Saturday is my birthday. Um, I'm actually traveling on my birthday too, so. <laughs> Anyways, that was my little update. Uh, uh, I'm gonna work out tomorrow. I've definitely committed to that because I didn't work out on Monday and I've given myself three days of resting, so that should be good enough now. Um, whatever's clogged in there must be getting out because I've literally gone through a whole box of tissue already because my nose just keeps draining like crazy which is good so um yeah so I know I haven't been doing any like uh updates where I've kind of like shown you my workouts or my foods lately and um yeah but to be honest it's because my food hasn't been that great lately I've literally always been I don't know, just, I've been craving for things lately. It's ridiculous, like weird things too that I'm like, I don't know, I just want that so bad. So I've been eating that. I did have like salads and stuff, but like um, like today I'm like craving pizza so, so bad. And I've been looking up these like recipes on like how to um, make like keto diet like pizzas so I don't know maybe I'll try like looking up more recipes and doing more videos like that um, where I'm actually following along someone's cooking because yeah most things I cook I just find recipes and then I try them and then yeah mine don't look that great though <laughs> anyways thank you for watching and um, let me know like is there if you could get if someone would pay you um, if, okay, so starting today, if someone was going to pay you 80% uh, 80, 80 of your expenses back of money that you put towards weight loss, whether it's a, a weight loss program or just like seeing a doctor or whatever, um, the only requirement is you have to set a timeline of when you're going to lose the weight. What would you, what would you, what would you focus on? I want to know, like what, like what kind of programs or things like that? would you recommend? Maybe that's where I should start. I should be asking you guys. Yeah, tell me down in below in the comments. And if you are new here, please, for, please forget. <laughs> if you're new here, please subscribe so you can watch more of my lovely rambling videos. And uh, let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.